welcome back to the channel you guys this is the last and fifth video of this week uh, as you guys can see it is raining slash drizzling uh, it was heavy raining earlier and I was like dang I really wanted to ride because the last two videos were filmed in the garage but then it kind of like slowed down so I was like you know what whatever let's ride while it's raining it's gonna be a nightmare to clean the bike after this but whatever and the rain hitting my exposed knees does not feel good at all let's just say that I'm gonna be drenched on the way back but I'm doing it for you guys because I know you guys have been wanting me to go on a ride and honestly it's not just you guys I've been itching to go on a ride you know and yeah so here we are dusting off the R1M it's been a minute since I rode this bike I truly miss it These people are probably like, what the hell is this guy doing riding in rain like this? Hopefully it doesn't storm like it did earlier today. It was like crazy. Alright, my knees are actually hurt from all the rain because they are not fully healed yet. Someone actually told me to do, uh, kind of like talk about my injuries and how everything has been, which I'm going to go more into uh, the next time I film a garage video. Uh, so I can show you guys my injuries and all that stuff and how they're doing. God, the sun with the rain. Rainbow! Yo! <laughs> Hope you guys can see. I'm trying to not crash, you know, looking all the way back, but that's what happens when there's sun and rain. Beautiful rainbow. back around and park the bike somewhere and take some videos <laughs> but yeah I just wanted to dust off this beautiful bike you know it's been a while since I rode it rainbow's probably already going away and the bike is wet as you guys can see soaked but yeah what I was saying is that my knees are still kind of like injured like I just covered them but you guys can see it's like the skin is still like kind of raw and soft it's definitely healing finally uh slowly but surely it's been like what four or five months it's been a while man you know when there's a surface on it aka jeans or something like that rubbing on it it definitely hurts and just like right now like even though it's just drizzling it's not like hard raining when you're going on a bike the rains the water still hits you a little and yeah when the rain hits it hard it kind of like hurts still that's why I'm trying to cover it up, which is going to hurt too because the jeans rubbing on it. But yeah, healing, not completely, but you know, getting there. Uh, also, Christmas came early. I just literally, right as I was going to uh, film this video, I found a big package in front of my house and I saw the company name and it is a lot of the carbon pieces that I ordered for the V4. I am so excited to put these on. Uh, also, talking about Christmas, happy holidays everyone. Today is December the 24th, pretty much Christmas Eve day, or well Christmas Eve is coming up in a few hours as soon as it gets dark, but tomorrow is Christmas, so happy holidays to everyone. Uh, I wanted to thank everyone again for all the support. This half a year, ever since I started, like YouTube seriously has been amazing. And I wouldn't be able to do what I'm doing without you guys, you know? That rainbow just looks insane.
I miss riding this bike. I miss riding a bike that is loud and, you know, throaty and aggressive. Such a fun bike to ride. There's like multiple rainbows, I swear. I'm freaking out right now. This is so cool. I've always wanted to go on a ride, like, and seeing all these clouds and the rainbow. This is, you know, not a very usual thing, especially here where I live, because it doesn't rain as often. I hope the rainbow doesn't go away and I can manage to get like a few Instagram videos. Uh, I'm so excited to go home and put these parts on and probably, I don't know if I'll do it today or tomorrow. I'm probably so excited I'm gonna do it today, but I'm filming this video right now and I still need to go home, edit and post it literally in the same. You guys are watching these videos and you guys don't realize that I'm like filming them same day. So you're literally like seeing what I'm doing in the like current moment. Since I post five times a week, you know, like I don't have time to like save videos for the future, you know? So yeah, everything is like in real time for you guys. I literally film these videos, go home, edit and post it. And sometimes I post it like the morning after because uh, I start editing like past midnight. But for this video, since I want to post it today, Friday, for Christmas Eve, um, as soon as I get back home, I'm going to start editing and then post it. I was just going to be probably in like, what, five, six hours, something around that time. But yeah, really wanted to take the R1M out. It's been a while since I rode it. I rode the H2 because you guys have been requesting it a lot and it's been a while since I rode it and now it's the R1M's turn. And then I'm probably going to film, some of you guys requested uh, me to put, oh the rainbow, sorry I keep losing my train of thought, I'm so excited. What the hell are you doing car? Some of you guys requested uh, for me to film kind of like a build series with the V4R, or pretty much film me putting parts. Yo, know, I am not the best at like this type of stuff. I get so mad, I'm so impatient. And if something doesn't want to fit right and I don't have the right tools, I get so mad and frustrated. So it's definitely a thing that bothers me a lot and that's why usually I don't film it. But I will try to do that for you guys and I'll definitely show you guys how the bike is gonna look with the parts on because that's the thing that's like most exciting. Like I cannot wait to see how the bike is gonna look with finally the full carbon fiber tail and also Oh. Uh, I have that, I have the swing arm uh, cover with like the little brushed titanium uh, pad on it. So I'm so excited. I got little stickers for the tank, kind of like this, but in red. So yeah, I'm hella stoked. I almost decided to cancel this video and just put these parts on and stuff like that. But yes, 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 yes. No cars, no cars, no cars. Where can I go? Where can I go? <laughs> if you guys are not following me on Instagram, make sure you follow me there at MK. This is where this video that I'm going to take is going to go. Oh, the rainbow is in full effect right now. That's insane. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, the sun is just coming out. Let's go. <laughs> I'm so hyped for this. You guys have no idea. I'm like so shaky right now. I think we're good with the shots. Let me do one for the gram. Oh, this picture is epic. As I said, you guys, go follow me at MK. I mean, you guys saw when I started riding, there wasn't like any uh, sun or anything like that. Literally, it was all rain. And right when I came out, the sun shined and it's like a movie and the rainbow came out and it's just what the hell is even going on? So yeah, <laughs> pretty wild. Uh, next video is probably going to be, as I was saying, was, which is uh, pretty much just putting on the parts, uh, the carbon pieces that I got for the V4R on it. Film that video, show you guys how the bike is going to look. Oh, imagine if I took that bike with a rainbow with the parts being put on. But there's no way I'm going to be able to put these parts in time and come back here and take videos. Yeah, that's impossible. It's going to take at least two hours, which is, it's going to be like dark in two hours because it's already three. Rainbow no more, but we got it just in time.
it's in like full effect right now. <laughs> Why am I freaking out so much? I guess because you never like see rainbows here. Guys, would you look at that? All right, I literally have to go somewhere else and take a couple of videos of this, but I don't know where. Can go right by these like train tracks right there. That'd be so cool with all the graffiti. I got that shot for the thumbnail. Just out here chasing rainbows for you guys. <laughs> this is so weird. <laughs> you guys are probably like, what the hell is this video? What is this guy doing? He's definitely losing it. Oh, water patches. Those are sketch. out here chasing the rainbow all right I guess we're gonna go chase it <laughs> please don't unsubscribe for watching this video I know it's a very weird video but I don't know I'm just out having fun enjoying this ride and freaking out a little bit because of the rainbow there's like two of them it's a double rainbow <laughs> probably like the weirdest thing ever that you guys have seen on my channel but it's okay if some of you guys are still watching for whatever reason you guys are amazing you should like and subscribe please please <laughs> here what the hell usually they look really far I mean, I'm sure it's really really far but it feels like it's right there oh slippery slippery oh yeah very slippery I'm sorry I know I'm, I'm revving like more than I ever do but I've missed having like a nice sounding exhaust because the v4 still waiting on that exhaust guys wait if it's this way right there then i wonder if i should go that way and so yeah probably yep oh my god you can see the rain all the way back there that is wild so many people are just like staring at me they're like, what the hell is this idiot doing riding around in this freezing weather with him being probably damp, which I am. But yeah, I'm gonna end the video right here for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Just pretty much me out riding, chasing rainbows. Look at the bike. It is like soaking wet. I'm soaking wet. The tire still has all the like rubber booger like dripping everywhere. Uh, this is gonna be a nightmare to clean but I hope you guys enjoyed this video featuring the rainbow and the R1M if you did please like support and subscribe share comment whatever you guys want to do I appreciate all of you guys and thank you so much for watching peace out ride safe and never give up